Hey guys, so welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me slash get to know me type of video. Um, I did this makeup right here for a um, reunion party that I'm going to for a daycare that I work at. And yeah, so if you guys want to see how I kind of did this makeup, um, please keep watching. And if you want to learn a little bit more about me, also keep watching. So hey everyone, I'm about to start getting ready for a little party that I'm going to. It is a reunion party thing for a daycare that I worked at slash work at. And so I'm gonna be there just to go. Yeah, and I'm playing music. Me and my dad have DJ equipment stuff. Like we just play songs, we're not anything cool. Like chain smokers. We have some stuff to play music. We've done it before. People, people love this. And I thought I'd get ready, answer some questions that I found from a get to know me tag video thingy majiggy. Let's see, are you named after anyone? I am. Um, Emmeline comes from my great grandmother on my mom's side and my middle name is Rose and that comes from my great grandmother on my father's side. Where are you from? I am from Massachusetts. I have lived in Massachusetts my whole life. Um, except kind of right now for college. I go to college in New Hampshire. I go to Plymouth State University. I am going to be a sophomore this upcoming year. Just finished my freshman year. You guys saw my move out vlog. If you haven't, I'll have it linked down below. Um, but yeah, I am an early childhood education major with a teacher cert for pre-K to third grade. And my goal in life is to become a kindergarten teacher, but I just want to teach in general. Kind of extended on that question. Who did you look up to growing up? Honestly, probably like Miley Cyrus slash Hannah Montana. Pretty obsessed with that show. I literally bawled my eyes out on the last episode. Ooh, I like this one. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Um, so I would have been named Dylan. Um, Dylan Earl. And I believe the middle name Earl comes from my mom's grandfather, so that would be my great-grandfather. Um, and then Dylan, my mom just liked the name. My dad claims that it is because of Dylan from, I think, like, 90210 or something, or like, One Tree Hill. I don't remember. Luke Perry was on the show. We were watching Riverdale, and Luke Perry is on Riverdale. He plays Archie's dad. And his character's name on whatever show it is was named Dylan, so that's where my dad thinks she, that she got the name from, but she swears she just likes the name. But yeah, so I would be Dylan. I just took a crap ton of concealer. Whoops. Ooh. What has required the most courage of you so far in life? Um, I'd probably say two things. One was going to the high school that I went to. So I went to a vocational technical high school where I learned a trade. I was in the cosmetology program and honestly I hated it most of the time. Um, but that's another story. You had to apply to get in and stuff. And um, so when I went to, so when you go to high school, if you go there, I'm just gonna kind of scrape it off. Um, you're going to a new school. So, um, I left my town, high school, from what I've known since I was in kindergarten, left all my friends. I had one friend going to the school with me. And, yeah, I think that took a lot of courage for me because I was basically leaving everything I knew. I was going to a school in a different town. Um, my town was like a part of the program, obviously, or else I wouldn't have been able to go to that school specifically. But yeah, so that took a lot, and um, it had its benefits and its cons, <laughs> but yeah. And then the second thing I would say is going to college. Um, honestly, I didn't decide that I wanted to go to college until I think my sophomore year of high school. Um, all the time, I was like, I'm going to be a cosmetologist, I'm not going to need to go to school because um, when I graduated high school, I graduated with my cosmetology license in Massachusetts. Um, so honestly, 
I can go and work in the salon right now if I really wanted to, but I don't. Um, I have a smoothie, by the way. So, that was my plan, but then I kind of was like, well, maybe I'll go to college. I was going to go for business. If you asked me my sophomore year what I was going to college for, it'd be business if I could start opening my own salon. But that's not for me. Um, junior year, I started working at the daycare for the party that I'm going to. Um, and I realized that I just really love working with kids. Um, I've always loved working with kids. But I realized that I kind of just wanted to make a career out of it. Um, so that's what I've decided to do. So junior year, that's what I decided that. Um, and then applying to school was pretty stressful. Um, getting in was a lot less stressful. <laughs> um, because I pretty much knew where I wanted to go right away. Um, it was between Plymouth and Framingham, but I just still really loved Plymouth. Um, I still love Plymouth. I don't think I would change my mind. So Plymouth is about two and a half-ish hours away from my home. Alright, I'm back. My camera stopped recording and I was doing my eyebrows. Um, so I just did my eyebrows. They probably look like trash. Wiped away the bake and applied more powder. Um, so yeah, Plymouth is about two and a half hours away. That's pretty far for me. I've never been away from home for a really long time like this, like at college ever before in my life. So it was a little scary going there. Um, I do have family that lives about 45 minutes away though from the campus um, and they have a campground that's like even less time away um, so if I ever needed anything they were they're there um, which is awesome um, Andrew also goes to Plymouth going pretty far away from home because Framingham is like pretty close to where I live um, like far away enough to where I was gonna live on campus if I went there um, but close enough to where I could go home pretty much whenever I wanted where at Plymouth I really plan out when I go home and really I have only been home during like vacations and stuff um, like I don't really go home for long weekends because it's just such a long drive who is your favorite actor I really love James Franco um, I do like Channing Tatum and like Zac Efron and I've really found a new appreciation for um, Hugh Jackman. Favorite actress? I love me some J-Law, Jennifer Lawrence. I really like Anne Hathaway too. I think I don't give her enough credit in my favorite actress book. Um, and Amanda Seyfried, love her. And Madeline Petch from Riverdale. Oh, favorite musician, love me some Ariana Grande. Um, love me Justin Bieber. Ed Sheeran, seeing him in concert this summer, I'm really excited. Um, I like Taylor Swift, Demi Lovato, love Demi Lovato. I'm really liking Zac Brown band lately, I'm gonna go see them in concert in about, actually like in two weeks. Selena, Selena Gomez, love her. But I think that's really all I can think about right now. But I do love a lot of artists, but those are like the key ones. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Um, so if I'm going back to like when I was like really, really little, like toddler, um, I loved Bear in the Big Blue House, Dragon Tales, Roly Poly Oly. These are like OG, like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, I was kind of like older though when that came out, so I didn't really watch that a lot. And then as I got older, like like school aged, um, I loved Fairly Odd Parents. Spongebob, Jimmy Neutron was a really good one that I loved. Um, when, like, Fairly Odd Parents and Jimmy Neutron did, like, those, like, crossover episodes, like, it was over. 
Like, that was my favorite thing in the world. Hannah Montana. Wizards of Waverly Place. It's a good one. I loved Sunny with a Chance until it got cancelled. Um, Victorious. Um, iCarly. Watched a lot of TV as a kid, which was probably bad. This is going to be kind of controversial, but I'm answering it. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Um, whoa, that is really intense. I did not want that much highlight, but... So, honestly, I prefer Titanic. I just watched The Notebook not that long ago. I'd probably say like a year ago. And I liked it, but I do not see the hype. Honestly. Like, maybe I need to like give it another shot, but I'm just really not seeing why it's so like, The Notebook, The Notebook. I don't know. Ooh, I like this one. Who was your first celebrity crush? Um. You asked my parents. Um, it was Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter. He sings I Want Candy. Yeah. But from what I can remember, Jesse McCartney. Love me some Jesse McCartney. Still love Jesse McCartney. Has he come up with new music? Let me know. I like this one is probably another controversial topic. Have you read any Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? And which one do you prefer? Or which one is your favorite? So I have read all of the Hunger Games and Twilight books. And Hunger Games is my favorite. Um, I've seen all the Twilight and Hunger Games movies, but Hunger Games is just really good. In my opinion. I've seen only the first Harry Potter movie when I was really young. Actually, I think I've watched it when I was older too. And I just thought it was really boring. People say, yeah, the first one isn't that great compared to the others. You should give it a try. But I'm just like, make the first one good and then maybe I'll watch it. So, what is the first time you were allowed to wear makeup? Um, I went to weddings when I was younger. Um, so, I think I was probably allowed to wear makeup, like a little bit of makeup and like lip gloss or something. And then there used to be this store called um, Libby Lou, and you could get like your makeup done and stuff um, there, like for kids. So I remember I did that, um, but the first time, and dance recitals, because um, you had to wear makeup for those. But um, the first time I remember being able to wear makeup, probably outside, like. Um, I remember for like school dances I could, um, but, and I was in the drama club and I was in 7th and 8th grade so I had to wear makeup then, um, but it was around like 8th grade I think I started wearing, like, makeup like every day type of thing, and I think it was after my 8th grade semi-formal, because, um, I started wearing concealer and powder um i really don't know why honestly so i wore that but after my eighth grade semi-formal i started like sneaking like um mascara on and i'm pretty sure my mom knew but then i was wearing concealer um powder and mascara um and then i started doing eyeliner um, not like wings or anything, um, I did, um, I put it on my water lines, and it looks good then, but now I'm not like a huge fan of doing that every day. And then, as I got older, I was buying my own makeup, um, doing whatever I wanted, but yeah, so like, as I got older, I started wearing more and more, um, but I think, like, my freshman year, I started, like, doing my eyebrows, um, and, like, putting on blush and whatever, um, but nothing too crazy. 
and I did a little bit of eyeshadow and then I'd probably say junior year that's when I started getting into like bronzers like blush like highlights doing more eyeshadow and stuff especially in my junior year doing being in the cosmetology program working in a salon like we had a salon at school and we were serving the public and I was learning more I always watched YouTube videos too um but so I was learning more about makeup through both YouTube and school and then yeah like I just kind of started adding more and more I did what I wanted um, my mom and dad they let me do whatever I wanted I'd practice so I know what I feel is appropriate for myself for certain occasions like I'm not gonna go to school wearing the same makeup that I wore at prom and I think I'm pretty much done with this video so if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up if you like my videos please subscribe like I said before I will have the college move out vlog linked down below in the description box so you guys can go and watch that if you guys haven't seen it yet um, I got a lot of fun videos in store for you guys coming up soon I am going to be doing a pack with me video for a cruise that I'm going on this week you will see that um, I think the day before I leave I'm gonna be vlogging on the cruise there might either be one or two videos I think there's gonna be two videos um, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out so I might vlog that I'm going to Zach Brown so I think I'm gonna be doing either a vlog with that or a get ready with me or both I'm going to Ed Sheeran this summer I'm going back to Plymouth because I'm gonna be an orientation leader so I might vlog a little bit of that experience um, but yeah, just a lot of fun things to come during the summer. Um, stay tuned and stuff. And like I said, subscribe if you like my videos to see more. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye!